What do you get when you combine Lisa Simpson, a raven, and bacon? What's going on, everybody? To a Bam Bam Classic Shoot Buff in our video. So, today I'm going to be telling you guys a story time about the worst day of vacation I've ever had. And this actually happened July 9th. And what's funny is, after all these events happened, I wrote an entire script down in notes so I didn't forget it. I'm just going to read off of that. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. And I'm going to read off notes now. So this story time took place on July 9th, and me and my mom, my stepdad, my stepbrother, and my real brother are the people in the story. So we woke up, and it was a nice, beautiful, sunny day. Ha! <laughs> nope. It was a downpour rain. Now, when we woke up, we had everything ready, but the one issue is my stepbrother was in the bathroom. We had to wait for him like an extra 20 minutes. Eventually, he got done, and we headed out the door, and then we had to move around our cars that we were using. By the way, we took two separate cars. One had my brother, and one had my mom. The second one had my stepbrother and my stepdad. So, me and my stepbrother immediately fall asleep, and the first hour and a half was fine. Then, when I woke up, things immediately fell apart. When I wake up, we stopped at this diner and everything seemed fine until my stepbrother went to lay down in the car because he was sick. So he didn't eat with us. Now, for some context, my stepbrother occasionally has motion sickness. Today, it was his worst. Doesn't sound that bad, right? Wrong, but I'll get to that later. So we ordered our food and drinks, and then we get our drinks. And then 15 minutes went by, nothing. Okay. 30 minutes went by. What? One whole hour went by and we'd no food. Then we see our waitress storm into the bathroom crying. We sighed, heh <laughs> screw this. We left and we paid for our drinks. We then go to Denny's, everything's fine. But remember that I mentioned my brother was sick? Well, he had to throw up while on the car ride to Denny's, which was just eh, once. Heh <laughs> not the last. But anyway, everything was fine at Denny's, but then we walked back to the car. My mom asked if she still wanted to ride with my, if I still wanted to ride with my sixth brother, or ride with them. You know, it's a pretty obvious choice, right? It would be pretty obvious to ride with my mom. I chose my stuff brother. Way to go, old man! So, I get in the car, and the first 20 minutes are fine. Then we pull over to the side of the road, and my stepbrother throws up. No, I thought this was going to be a one-time thing, but nope. Every five minutes, we had to pull over for him to throw the hack up. After about two hours, we finally arrived to our destination. But when we got there, they told us our place wouldn't be open for two whole hours. Great. Now, remember how I said it was raining? It was also raining at our place where we were staying, so we couldn't do much, but we had no problem. A supper jumped out of the car and immediately threw up in the bushes beside the car. We just had to stand there while he was throwing up all over the place, and people were staring, so that was great. Now, my supper father said he was going to drive to the gas station in case my supper threw up again. Now what's the smart thing to do? Not go and wait or do something else with my mom's supper? I chose gas station. I make bad decisions. Now I did have to go to use the bathroom, but still I should have figured something else out. Now I thought this wouldn't take long. <laughs> Wrong. So I go with them and I use the restroom and so my supper. Now the car wasn't moving so I thought he wouldn't get sick again. Now, as we're about to leave, my stepper opened up the door, and yeah, you know what happened. Then he does it for a whole 10 minutes, then he gets back in the car, and then 5 minutes later, again. So I'm sitting here awkwardly as people stare. Now, I do want to express this wasn't anybody's fault, and I did not have the worst experience here. I'm just here to tell you my experience. So we decided to wait in this car for two full hours, and then we went back, and you think we would be allowed in a place. I think you know what I'm about to say. We could not get in. Now we did fix it five minutes later, but so I was worried we couldn't get in. And that's right. And that's where we, the, I can't talk right now. And that's where I am now. Yes, I'm writing the script as it happened right now and it's eight at night. And by the way, as soon as we walked in here, my supper I fell asleep. And he is still sleeping. He's probably gonna sleep till tomorrow. Yeah, he did. Also, I'm writing this in notes on my phone, so yeah, it's cool. 
thanks for watching. I'm Big Man, and as always, keep supporting.